Hello and welcome to my latest Simpsons video. So today we're going to be having a look through another three boxes of Simpsons memorabilia, um, predominantly World of Springfield play sets and carded figures, but I've got a few other bits and bobs such as these uh, in there as well. So that will be the subject of today's video. So sit back, relax, and let's get to it. Okay, so I think we'll get some of the real big stuff out of the way first of all. So I've got five World of Springfield environment play sets to have a look at today. Um, one of my favorites here with the uh, Moo Moo Homer. Um, once again, we'll try them as we go along in the hope that they do still actually work. Seems to work okay, let's try a couple more. <laughs> Good stuff. It's a great, great story that one, wasn't it? So yeah, that's this, the kitchen, Simpsons kitchen environment with Moo Moo Homer. So I'm going to put these over there. So we've got a bit of a backdrop going forward. Now we've got um, exclusive Dr. Nick Riviera, Dr. Nick's office. Let's give this one a try. Oh, this one doesn't look like he's working. Now, that's one of the ones that's bit the dust, unfortunately. Oh, that's a shame. We don't get to hear him say, hi, everybody. This is the Aztec Theater. This one's got exclusive McBain. Available nowhere else. Look at the size of him. <laughs> the film is just me in front of a brick wall for an hour and a half. It cost $80 million. <laughs> I wonder if um, they, they gave him the name McBain based on the, the, uh, the crime novelist Ed McBain. I think there's probably some sort of uh, tie in there, knowing the Simpsons. Next one we got is the, uh, the interactive police station environment. This one comes with Officer Eddie as the exclusive. Let's give this one a try. No, and he's the same. He's also not working anymore. Oh, what a shame, eh? What a shame, but, you know, that's that's the the risk you take with these old toys. This is the this is the B-sharp Centennial with an exclusive Dr. Doolittle available nowhere else. I don't really remember getting this one, to be honest. Let's see if this one works. This bird's gonna fly! Yeah, they're really loud, this one. Exclusive, the B sharp sing Baby on Board, and also I noticed that this was a Toys R Us exclusive, so that's quite interesting. Get the tear gas. Yeah, it must have been Toys R Us in America. How cool is that? That's quite a nice one, that isn't it? Okay, so that's the five play sets we've got to look at today, um, but I've got some other quite big stuff, so we'll just zap through it as I come to it. This is uh, quite nice. This is uh, a Blinky the Three Eyed Fish. This is a carded one from Dark Horse Comics. This is when they produced some memorabilia. Uh, dated 2003. Brilliant. I always loved Blinky. So he's got like a liquid inside. He's a great character, wasn't he? This is quite nice. This is early on. So this is the original accessory for the original Mattel Simpsons figures. This is the Simpsons sofa and boob tube. Now, I remember, um, if you're in the UK, you've probably heard of the... Uh, the department store, The Range. Well, they actually started in Plymouth and their first store was called CDS. That was uh, the initials of uh, The Range's founder. And um, back in the day, and this would have been the early 90s, um, CDS, this is a day in 1990, it was a year or two after that, CDS 
had, I kid you not, must have had a thousand of these brand new boxed with a selection of figures, all one ninety nine. So I think I bought about 10 because that was a time when I was dealing in uh, uh, collectibles and stuff and I had them for a long time. But yeah, that's where that one's come from. That's why it's nice and mint. Um, I did also have them all loose somewhere, but I'm not sure where the loose set's gone. They're here. They're around somewhere. This is quite nice. This is a uh, uh, Simpsons Rubik's Magic Puzzle. It's not the Rubik's Cube, but it's this, it is an official Rubik's item. It's the Rubik's, um, so it's like a slate, the Rubik's Magic with pictures on. So that's quite nice as well. Um, another couple of bigger items while we're here. So this is interesting. So this is a uh, party time with the Simpsons. And this is a real long, this was like a tablecloth. So it's actually three tablecloths in here. And uh, these were designed for kids' parties. Copyrighted 1991 by uh, Deco. Probably quite scarce, that sort of stuff is doesn't tend to be around. I was really delighted to see this because I'd forgotten all about it. This was a uh, a frame to put over your monitor. So you put your put your computer put this on the the outskirts of your uh, computer screen here. Absolutely fantastic, and it gives you the uh, the Springfield graphics. Um, easy Velcro mounting. <laughs> Um, and when does this date from? This is must be um, 1994. So that was sort of the uh, around the time of uh, very early Windows. Um, so there you go. How cool is that? The frame. Now these are massive as well. Also from the period. And these are stationary binders. This is like an A4 stationary binder. British again. Uh, copyright was the company in Duxford, 1991. And this is an even bigger one. Bar on the back. There we are. They're pretty, pretty smart those, aren't they? And they're really massive. So uh, amazed I ended up keeping, <laughs> keeping hold of them. Then this is also something I've completely forgotten about. Was the Simpsons Cartoon Studio? So this was early uh, Windows software, so you could make your own sort of Simpsons cartoon, which is pretty good. So it came with a CD-ROM, which you could uh, interact with. Sort of thing you could get on a, on an app nowadays, but yeah, I was really uh, really pleased to get to see I still had that one. So that was cool. So that's a lot of the bigger bits out of the way. So here's another Rubik's item, and this is uh, the Homer Simpson Rubik cube puzzle. <laughs> Mental, isn't it? And so the actual it's a normal four by four cube. Um, oh, sorry, two by two, but it's uh, in the shape of Homer's Homer's head there, just to confuse the issue. <laughs> Then um, what I thought we'd do, I've got a little bag of bits and pieces of small stuff, so I thought we'd just get the uh, the carded figures out of the way first of all. So um, these are Series 15, this is Brandine. <laughs> this one comes with the Stonecutter Lenny offer on. Series 14, this is a Louis. So I have, uh, someone has suggested that um, I dig out all the Simpson figures and sort of review each line, or maybe say series one, two, and three in order. So I may well do that um, in the future once I've got all the Simpsons boxes uh, unpacked. And um, this is another series 16 one, so this is Doug. They're pretty cool figures. This is series 16 again, Agnes Skinner. Series 14. As bots, she was the evil babysitter, wasn't she? This one's absolutely fantastic. This is the octuplets, absolutely fantastic. These, <laughs> I love uh, figures that do that. To me, they represent good value for money. <laughs> Another great, great figure. Comic book guy, at last. Worst episode ever. <laughs> he was so heavy as well. Really, really great figure. Um, the original Homer. So there he is. The original Homer. Now the evil Homer. Series 16 one again. Gil. It's great. Manjula, series 15.
Prison Sideshow Bob. Series 9 won that. Handsome Mo. <laughs> and the very last one, one of my all time favourite Springfield figures is Deep Space Homer. Absolutely awesome figure, that one. I just love him to death. Really, really great. Brill, so that's all the figures. So now I've got a few more, just smaller bits for us to have a look through. Um, and I emptied a display cabinet recently, and this meant that I uh, had to unload some smaller Simpsons items. Um, so I'm going to clear the decks a little bit, and I'll get those uh, small ones out now. Okay, so I've popped all that to the back, so we can have a look at some of the, uh, the smaller items that I've got. So there's not many, but there's a few. I, as I said, I had to empty a display case recently, so it meant I needed to get a few of these bits out of the way. So this is the first bit. So this is, once again, it's an old deco party thing. Um, that's got an old Toys R Us sticker on, hasn't it? So this is probably Simpsons Cups, probably dating from the early 90s again, I would think. Um, in 1991, yeah, party time with the Simpsons. So I guess this goes along with the uh, that tablecloth that we had. These are just a couple of odd um, odd Burger King bits, I believe. Simpson, Lisa um, calculator there. Yeah. Now this was a bag of, of bits and bobs. And once again, it's a bit of a mixture of some fast food stuff. So we've got these. Simpsons here, which are on like the uh, the skates. And I remember lots of these at the time, and I'm pretty sure <laughs> I've got them all. I do have more skates somewhere, so these were also designed for the skates. So I shall just get them all out and uh, try and sort these things into a uh, vague series. So we've got those ones actually on skates and then these ones are figures which look like they could go on the skates. They're very early these ones. So that's those. Now I've also got some very small sort of kinder style ones. Some of them from, not all from the UK, some of these are from France and that. So let's try and get everything into picture. There we are. So fingers crossed it stays in focus. <laughs> so that's that row there and then we've got these, another one very, very similar style, but I think these came before the ones on the uh, on the right there. And these are another sort of set of sofas, like so. So yeah, I used to have all these small figures in uh, in a display case, and they do look really great for the little bits and bobs there. As you can see all the Burger King there at the back as well. So there we are that's it for today's video i do hope you've enjoyed it if you have enjoyed today's video do please give it a thumbs up do please check out my other simpsons videos on the channel there's about eight or nine of them now and not all simpsons there's some futurama stuff as well and uh, i certainly hope to see you again very soon uh, hopefully in about a month's time with another few boxes of my uh, simpsons collection unboxed for your viewing pleasure thanks for watching today Bye.